Hello and welcome to this session on Robot Framework Beginner Tutorial. In this session we are going to see different ways of installing, uninstalling, upgrading and downloading Robot Framework and towards the end of this session we will also look at some useful tips. So let's get started and to save some time I have added some notes here. So first we will see what are the different options we have for installation. So to install Robot Framework we have already seen uh, we can do with pip install robot framework and of, and of course we need python and pip installed which we have already covered in earlier sessions so let us go to my command prompt and here to install i can directly say pip install robot framework and hit enter and this command will download the latest robot framework version which is available at your time and it will install the robot framework and you can see it has successfully installed robot framework the next thing is if we want to install a specific version we can give the specific version of robot framework by giving these two equal signs so i can say here pip install robot framework equals equals and the version name so if i want to install the version 290 i will give it here and say enter and it will then download that particular version and install it and you can also see if you have already some other version it uninstalls that version and then installs the required version now in case you want to install robot framework again and you already have installed it earlier then it will always take the cached files by default so for example let me show you let me first just uninstall robot framework so I'm saying pip uninstall robot framework and yes enter successfully uninstalled so now if I say pip install robot framework you can see it is using the cached files so it has already downloaded some earlier files and it is using that information to install the robot framework however if you want that it should do a fresh installation then what you have to do let me first uninstall it again And now if I want to do a fresh installation and I want to ignore the cached files then I will give the command pip install and the option I will give is no cache dir and robot framework. So you see this time it will again download a fresh copy and then do the installations for us. Also another thing that you can do is uh, you can also empty your cache folder so your pips cache folder will be available in your in case of windows it is available in your C users and your user and then you will find a hidden folder by the name app data go here local and then you will find a folder for pip and here you will find this cache folder so you can just empty this folder so if you empty this folder and then do again pip install and even if you do not give this no cache dir it will download and then install a fresh installation for you so now let us uh, go to verify installation so of course whenever you install you should verify so you can say robot space dash dash version and it will show you the robot framework version which is installed on your system and it is also showing us the python version and also you can give some other commands like robot hyphen hyphen help this will show you some other details about robot framework so uh, if you go do this if you run the help command you can see it shows us the version of robot framework it also tells us robot framework a generic test automation framework 
and it gives us some description robot framework is a python based keyword driven test automation framework for acceptance level testing and acceptance test driven development so these things are very handy and useful you should always uh, try looking at the help section and now if you want to upgrade robot framework this is the command pip install hyphen hyphen upgrade robot framework let me just copy it from here and go to my command line and I will just paste it here and let us run it and it is saying requirement already up to date so in case you have a installation which is not the latest version then it will install the latest version as of now my version is already the latest so it is saying requirement already up to date and then suppose you want to uh, download and then install robot framework so let us do one thing I will first just uninstall robot framework okay and let me also clear the cache I am just deleting everything in the cache and now if I say pip download robot framework and hit enter you can see it will now only download the latest version of robot framework and it will just save it and it will not install you can also download some specific version and it shows us that it has saved the robot framework zip file at this location you can also just copy and go here for verifying so if you go to this location you can see this zip file is here okay and now then you can again run pip install and the robot framework from that zip file so now I will say pip install robot framework and whatever file was downloaded and I will hit enter so now robot framework will get downloaded from that uh, will get installed from that downloaded file okay and of course we have already seen if you want to uninstall you can use the uninstall command and in the useful tips let us learn about rebot so when you install robot framework and if it is robot framework 2.7 version or above then you will also have rebot installed and you can uh, also check the rebot version by saying rebot space hyphen hyphen version and it shows you rebot 3.0.2 which is the latest now what exactly is rebot let us go to uh, rebot space hyphen hyphen help and hit enter and let me go to the top and yes so see it is saying rebot is robot framework report and log generator Rebot can, can be used to generate logs and reports in HTML format and it can also produce new XML output files which can be further processed with Rebot or other tools. So you should always check that you have Rebot installed and is properly working. In the coming sessions we will learn what exactly and how exactly Rebot can be used for reporting. So I hope uh, this session is very clear and it was very useful. Thank you for watching. I will meet you in the next session. Keep watching Robot Framework Beginner Tutorials.